the following parameters are already given in the question we have the density of water which is given as one gram per cm cube we also have the mass of water which is 90 gram per cm cube although this one is not stated in the question but we know that by the time the ice ice the mass of ice is given which is 90 gram when if the ice melts into water the, it's going to be the mass of ice is also going to be the mass of water so it is um it is also given in the in the question although it is not explicitly stated so the mass of water is also 90 gram per cm 90 gram rather mass of ice is equal to 90 gram and the density of ice is given as 0 0.9 gram per cm cube so from we can use this to equate to these two values to, to calculate the volume of ice the volume of ice we know that density is equals to mass over volume so we can calculate the density we can calculate the volume of ice in this case and our, our volume will be equals to mass of ice over the density of ice And that will, that will be equals to that will be equals to 90 gram over 0 0.9 gram per cm cube. The gram will cancel out gram. This divided by this is going to give us 100 cm cube. Like I stated the other time, the mass of mass of ice is also equals to it will also be equals to mass of water because by the time it melts it's going to have the same mass as that of ice so so our mass of water is equal is now equals to 90 gram density of water let's call it rule, rule of water is given as one gram one gram per cm cube so we can calculate the volume of water and the volume will be equal to mass over the density of water, mass of water over density of water, rule of water. And this is going to give us 90 gram over 1 gram per cm cube. So this is going to be, gram is going to cancel out. So we'll be left to it. This will give us 90 cm cube. So the change in volume, the change in volume will be equals to 100, 100 cm cube minus 90 cm cube and that's going to give us 10 cm cube we should observe one thing that normally before we do our normal calculation we used to convert do some conversion grams to kilograms and cm cube to meter cube but because all the parameters are equal all the parameters if you look at the density the mass the mass are given in grams and the densities are also given in grams per cm cube so there is no point doing any form of conversion but we should notice that, in, that there are cases whereby the mass may be given the mass the mass may be given in kilogram if the mass is given in kilogram the density is given in grams we have to convert them appropriately such that the the such that the two units are uniform all the units are uniform that is if this one is having grams this one must also be in grams per cm cube if this one is having kilogram we either convert this one to also kilogram or we convert this one to gram we must ensure that this or uh, this uh, formula these uh, units are always uniform